Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video, where each and every week we go through all the games that are currently on sale on the eShop and I point out which would be my top picks for the week. Now, just in case you're new to this series or the channel, quick reminder that I do not go over the games that were mentioned in last week's list. And since a lot of the deals last more than seven days, if you want to make sure that you're not missing out on any of the games, always check out last week's eShop Deals video. Secondly, the weekend list that we're doing right here, any price goes for the deals. But if ever you're looking for those rock bottom price deals, midweek we always do a second video that focuses only on the games that are available for less than $5. Now that doesn't mean I won't sprinkle in a few here and there on this list, but if you want a list that focuses only on those budget games, well make sure to also tune in to that midweek list. Lastly, that midweek video also now always launches with a $5 eShop gift card giveaway and I announced the winners here in this weekend video. So make sure to stay tuned for halfway through the list because I'll be announcing this week's winner. Now we have another huge list this week of great games that are on sale so we're gonna get started. Now do remember that if you do like this content please hit the like button it's the best way to support the channel and also subscribe if you aren't already. Now the first game on our list was mentioned in that midweek video and the deal is wrapping up with only a day left but Among Us is currently 20% off dropping the price to only $4. Now Among Us probably needs no introduction, it's just a great multiplayer game. So if you really want a game that you have to play with other people and it will really help bond your friendships and bring a ton of people together for a ton of fun, well then Pick up Among Us, it's probably one of the best games for that right now. And at 20% off, it's maybe not a huge discount, but this game is selling whether it's on sale or not. So any little bit off is going to help. Now the second game on our list is making a first appearance on our eShop Deals video, and that is Journey of the Broken Circle. That is currently 75% off, dropping the price to only $1.99. Now this is a very simple 2D action platformer, but with a super heartwarming story. What really attracted me to this game, other than the very simple design but beautiful aesthetics, is the fact that the story was very heartwarming. And it actually takes a lot to take such a simple 2D platformer and actually get you invested in the storyline. And Journey of the Broken Circle is a great example of that. And at only $2, it's an awesome budget pickup. Now the third game on our list is another uber budget entry at only $1.99 because it is 90% off and that is Air Memories of Old. Now I'm taking this game from my midweek list again, but this game is just so good that's why I'm re-mentioning it here, to make sure that as many people get a chance to play it as possible. Air is a 3D adventure game all centered around puzzle solving and the sense of freedom. When you take to the skies and you start soaring, this is an amazing experience. Now third on our list is a collection that I am super glad to see is back on sale and that is the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. It is currently 33% off dropping the price to $19.99 for all three games. Now the Phoenix Wright series is a narrative driven sort of investigative series and normally I'm not really into this kind of gameplay so it took me actually quite a while to give the Ace Attorney series a try. When I did though, this series actually managed to pull me in. So if it manages to pull someone in like me that normally isn't into narrative driven storylines, well you know what, I think everyone should give this a try and if you're into this series, it's a great representation that we have here on the Switch. So the next game on our list is actually going to be the first title from the Bandai Namco sale and there's going to be a few on this week's list because Bandai Namco has dropped the price on almost all their games this week. And the first one I want to take a look at is Jump Force the Deluxe Edition that is currently 50% off dropping the price to $24.99. Now what I say about all these series is all the same. If you're not a fan of the anime which they're based on, forget these games. These are games that are directed towards the fans of the people that already know these characters. And Jump Force is basically a 3D action game that is a mashup of all the series. And that's where the fun of this game comes from. Being able to pit characters that normally are not in the same universe one against the other. But personally, if you are a fan of any particular series, I would rather go with the games that are directed towards that specific series. This is really a fan for someone who is a fan of all of them and wants to just get the mashup collection. 
Now next, we jump right into another Bandai Namco game, which is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. It is currently 50% off at $24.99. When these games start hitting the 50% off, that's when normally I start taking a look and saying that they start to become worth it. However, I'll be honest, this week all the Naruto Shippudens are on sale, and the fourth one is really the most expensive one by far. This is really only directed to someone who is a huge fan of the series. If you like Naruto, but you don't mind playing an older title, I would strongly recommend picking up the other three games because all three games will be cheaper than this one, like all three games put together. But if you're a huge fan of the series, you won't be disappointed with Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. It's another great entry in the series and the price will probably rarely drop lower than this till the fifth one comes out. And while we're on the subject of Naruto Shippuden, here's the first of the other games. Now, we won't go into huge details on each of these games because ultimately they're always an evolution of the previous entry and the storyline just goes a little bit further each time. But this is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 and this is what I mean. All three other games are at $5.99 each because they are 70% off. So even if you buy the other three games, it's only costing you $18 and that's even cheaper than when the triple pack goes on sale for 50% off. So right now, if you're into Naruto and you've been waiting to pick these up, pick up whichever one you're missing because they are all $6 and they're all great games for fans of the series. Now the next game on our list, I'm also re-mentioning from this week's midweek video and that is Le Grand Legacy that is 90% off for only $1.99. I'm mentioning this game because the value is so amazing. It's a full-blown JRPG with some pretty solid graphics for only $1.99. Now, if you are into JRPGs, you haven't played this one, do yourself a favor for only $2, pick it up. And when you have some time, drop in a few hours here and there. It's a great storyline and a great game. Now, the next game we're going to move on to, we're back to another Bandai Namco game, but this is one from a totally different series. That is Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, the Complete Edition. And here in the West, we didn't get that many good Digimon games, and this is probably one of the best we ever got. So if you're into JRPGs, you're into the Digimon series, this is actually a great one to pick up. And at 60% off for $19.99, you are getting a huge game for a low, low price. I even normally recommend picking this one up physically when it's on sale, but if you're not into physical media, at $19.99, you are getting an amazing deal. Now, the next game we're going to be taking a look at is Dragon Ball Fighters, but we're more specifically going to be looking at the Ultimate Edition. Look, the base edition of the game is also on sale for under $10, but the Ultimate Edition that unlocks eight extra characters, and these are characters generally you are really going to want, is only $17.59. So for an extra $8 investment, you're getting eight extra characters. That is way cheaper than buying all the characters separately. And at 84% off, this is a great time to get into this game if you haven't yet. It's a 2D fighter, but it is a 2D fighter that is very easy to get into, yet very, very hard to master. But what I love about this game is with only a few hours of practice, you manage to pull off great combos and great animations for that are great for fans of the Dragon Ball series. Now, if you haven't tried this game yet, at 1759, it's a great time to jump in. Now, the next game is another of the Naruto Shippuden games. As I said, we're going to start going a little quicker. It's once again $6 because it is 74% off. This is the original entry. If you haven't played this one yet, for only $6, it's a great entry. Even if you've played the later ones, I would say sometimes it's worthwhile picking up the earlier ones just to see uh, how the gameplay evolved and to experience the story from a different perspective. Now, the next game on our list, we're switching to the One Piece series with One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, the Deluxe Edition. And out of all the One Piece games that are on sale this week, this would be my top choice for this week. Number one, I like cheap deals and I don't mind waiting till the next game comes out to pick up the earlier one at a cheaper price. And at 80% off, $7.99 for the Deluxe Edition, this is the one that has 
tons and tons of content right now. So at only $8, if you're into the Warriors type of gameplay, you are getting a ton of content in the One Piece world for a low, low price. We'll be looking at the fourth game that is also on sale currently. And of course, the graphics in the fourth game, I would say, is are a touch better. But nonetheless, if we're talking content wise and value wise, my choice for this week would be One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. Now, the next game on our list is going to be one of my favorite all time 2D platformers on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom that is currently 60% off for only $15.99. Now, Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is one of the best 2D platformers we have on the Switch. Actually, the only thing that's normally holding this game back is its full price, because normally selling at $40, it's a pretty steep price to ask for a lot of people, especially for an indie title. But Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom, I would tell you, is worth that $40. So when it's on sale now for $16, that's when it's a steal to pick up. This is basically a 2D platformer with a slight Metroidvania design that has you basically gathering different powers to have you morph into different creatures to be able to get through multiple obstacles. It has some amazing visuals and some really, really solid gameplay. So while we're on the subject of games that are held back by their full price, let's talk about our next game, Grip the Digital Deluxe. Now, this is a game that I would go so far as to say at its full price of $42.99, I would just not pick up. But when it is 80% off at $8.59, it becomes a really worthwhile experience. It's an arcade style racer with some really out there premise. Number one, your cars can pretty much drive on any surface, even vertically and upside down. It is a crazy arcade racing game and one that I should definitely think that at $8.59 is a very worthwhile pickup. Now, the last game to round off our Naruto Shippuden games that are on sale this week is the Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 that is also 70% off, dropping it to $5.99. So same explanation as the previous games. Fan of the Naruto series are going to love this one. And at only $6, if you're missing Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, it's probably the best time to pick it up. So we might be done with the Naruto series, but we're not done with Bandai Namco yet because we also have My Hero One's Justice 2 that is currently on sale at 60% off for $23.99. So once again, this is a fighting game, but set in the My Hero Academia world. And My Hero One's Justice 2 has a much bigger roster than the first game and goes even deeper into the storyline. So if you're a huge fan of the series at 60% off, we're finally getting into the territory where I seriously think you can th start picking up these games. Now next, we have an awesome indie favorite of mine, and that is Blossom Tales The Sleeping King that is 60% off for $5.99. Now if you love top-down Zelda type games, this is probably as close you're going to get without being an official Zelda release. The game is a little bit shorter than your average Zelda, but at $6, it feels just right for the price you're investing. If you need any more convincing yourself, there's a free downloadable demo. You can always give it a try before deciding to drop the $6. Now, another great game from Bandai Namco to pick up this week, and this one doesn't really need any prior previous knowledge of the series or anything. That is God Eater 3. That is 75% off at only $14.99. Now, this is a game that feels a very lot like an anime version of Monster Hunter, where basically you have to kill these huge monsters, use their parts to build new weapons, and therefore take on bigger monsters. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does to me as well. But this is done with an anime flair and an overall anime storyline. If you want to try this one out for only $15, it's a great time to pick it up. And there's a free downloadable demo as well. So just a little bit earlier, we looked at the third entry, but One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 is also on sale for 60% off for $23.99. Now, once again, if you're really into One Piece or if you're really into warrior type games, you can drop the extra money to pick up the fourth entry. However, if you're on a budget and you like value pickups, I would focus more on the third one. And like I said, I would probably wait till Pirate Warriors 5 shows up to grab the fourth one at an Uber discount. But if not, at $23.99, it starts making a lot of sense nonetheless for someone who is a huge fan of the series. 
Now the next game that I have for you is another budget entry that I actually just discovered a couple of days ago, and that is the Vasara Collection that is currently 80% off for only $1.99. If you love top-down shoot-em-ups, the Vasara Collection are among some of the best I've played on the Switch. Of course, these have a retro feel because these are basically two games that were never released in the West. They were released in Japan only that have been brought over. And the third game that they give you is sort of where the developer would have thought the original games would have gone had there been a third one released. And it's done in full HD and takes the full screen. And honestly, these are three really solid shoot 'em ups for only $2. It is amazing value. So now we're going to take a couple of seconds to look at this week's winner of Wednesday's $5 eShop gift card giveaway. And this week's winner is going to be Eridan Estrella, who with his comment that says, people go ahead with Gunlord, it's a gem. So congrats Eridan, all you need to do is reach out to me in my pinned comment in this video in the next 48 hours and we'll set up how I can get you that gift card. Now with that out of the way, let's move on to our next game and this is going to be the last Bandai Namco game on our list for this week, although it's not going to be our last game of the week and that is My Hero One's Justice that is 75% off for $14.99. Now we looked at My Hero One Justice 2 which is the latest entry, but if you didn't play the first one and you want to play through the earlier events of the storyline with a slightly smaller roster, well My Hero One's Justice at only $15 is nonetheless a great pickup for any fan of My Hero Academia. Now the next game on our list is going to be one that was featured in an indie direct a while ago and that is Raji an Ancient Epic that is currently 50% off for $12.49. Now this is an action adventure game with some great visuals and overall a pretty great storyline. I honestly think the only thing that was holding this game back was its price. At $25, they were asking for quite a bit for this series, but right now at $12.49, it really seems like some amazing value with the whole landscape of the Nintendo Switch eShop. At $12.49, it's a great pickup. And if you need any more convincing, once again, this one also has a free downloadable demo. Now the next game on our list is also making its first ever entry on our list and that is 3000 Duel that is currently 50% off at $7.49. Now this is an action adventure game with a Metroidvania-ish design and I really ultimately like the visual style of this game. I know we do have a lot of Metroidvanias on the Switch, but this one, when it falls like this at 50% off at $7.49, it becomes very, very competitive. Of course, when it's at its full price of $15 and it's competing against things like Hollow Knight, it's hard to hold its own for any game, but at $7.49, it becomes a really, really solid pickup. So the next game on our list is going to be a really solid racing game, which is Gear Club 2 Unlimited that is currently 75% off for $9.99. Now this is another one of those games that at its full price of $40, I sort of feel like it's not that much of a decent investment. But when it's like this at 75% off for that sub $10 mark, Gear Club Unlimited 2 becomes an excellent pickup for anyone who is even slightly a fan of racing games. And for under $10, I would definitely add this one to my library. Now the next game I want to take a quick look at is Moto GP18. Now I'm going to be suggesting this game really because of its price. It is $3 and if you're into simulation motorcycle racing, it is the cheapest way currently to get into it on the Switch. However, this was the first ever MotoGP that was ported to the Switch, and I'll be honest, it's the roughest of the ports. So normally the deals on the MotoGP series are sort of cyclical. They rotate between the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th, with the 21st being the latest uh, entry, and that one rarely goes on sale. But if you're really aching for some motorcycle racing at $3, this becomes a really decent pickup. However, I do just want to mention that it is the roughest visually and that if ever MotoGP 19 or 20 come on sale, like in between the $5 to $10 mark, those become really better pickups. Now, however, if instead of motorcycle simulations, you're into motocross, we do have an excellent entry on sale this week, which is Monster Energy Supercross, the official game three. That is 75% off for only $9.99. Now, this is 
pretty much one of the best motocross games we currently have on the Switch. Now it is a downgrade from the port on the other consoles, but nonetheless on the Nintendo Switch it is nonetheless a very solid entry. And when it falls like this once again to the sub $10 mark, it becomes an excellent pickup in my opinion. Now the next entry on our list is a game that I sort of dismissed when it first came out and that was Grindstone, because I found it looked like a mobile game. But trust me, although the visuals do resemble some other mobile games, this game has some really deep and fun puzzle solving gameplay and overall is one of the most addictive Switch games I've played in the last few years. And right now, although it's only 25% off at $14.99, this is nonetheless, in my opinion, an excellent pickup. If you're into that puzzle type design and you want a game that you can only play for like 5 or 10 minute sessions when you're on a break at work, well, Grindstone would be an excellent pickup for this week. Now the next game on the list is an indie title that I really would wish would get some more love. And that is Pumpkin Jack, that is currently 34% off for $19.79. Now this is a 3D action platformer, very reminiscent of the medieval series, that has you controlling basically a hero with a pumpkin for a head. And this is an amazing game, every time it's on sale, this game is going to be on my list because I want it to be successful. Now, I would wish the uh, developers of this game would give a slightly bigger discount, bringing it underneath that $15 mark, because I think it would be an easier sell to a lot of people. But trust me, even at $30, this game was worth it. So even though it's 34% off, dropping it to $19.79, and it is a more expensive indie title, Pumpkin Jack is definitely worth the $20 investment. Now, the next game on our list is going to shift to off-road racing with WRC8, the World Rally Championship that is currently 60% off for $19.99. Look, the WRC series is one of the best off-road racing series around and it's pretty much one of the best ones we have on the Switch. And a fully blown game for only $20, if you're into off-road racing, well, you're getting one of the best offerings we have on the Switch currently. Now we're getting pretty close to the end of the list, we only have a couple of titles left, but these last two titles are nonetheless really deserving of a place on the list, and the first one is Project Starship X, that is currently 40% off at $5.99. Now this is another top-down shoot-em-up, and although I do think that for someone who wants a serious top-down shooter, the Vasara collection is a better value for this week, if you want a more cartoony and out there feel with a little bit of a funny storyline, well then the Project Starship X should be your stop for this week at only $6. Now the last game on our list for this week will be an amazing retro collection with the Data East Retro Ca Classics Collection number one. Now this one is 60% off for $7.99 and it gives you eight great Data East games. Now my personal favorites on this collection has got to be the Joe and Mac, uh, it has to be Super Burger Time and Bad Dudes. But nonetheless, all the other games do have a place on this collection and they're all really solid old school entries. So if you're into old school games, if you don't know what those games are and you would like to give them a try, the Data Is collection at only $8 is a great pickup for anyone wanting to some retro gaming. So that is pretty much it for this week's eShop Deals video. Let me know what games you picked up this week and if there's any games you think I missed, you can always leave them down in the comments below. Also, congrats again to this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. Don't forget to reach out to me in the comments down below. Now, if you want to participate in this week's giveaway, all you need to do is to tune in to our under $5 video that should be coming out midweek. And lastly, on the way out, don't forget that if you do like this content, the best way to show your support to the channel is to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.